What's going on, everybody? Well, I just hit 1,600 subscribers this morning. Damn. 100 subscribers in a week. You know, I hit a little bit of a lull there in between 1,300 and 1,500, but right when I hit my one-year anniversary, hit my 1,500 benchmark, I started putting out a lot of reviews, and I've been getting a lot of good feedback from all of you guys, getting a lot of new subscribers, all good feedback from all of you guys. So I figured to bring in 1,600, why not finally, after the long promise that I've made, give the video tour of my new studio slash man cave slash bad cave. So this is it people. This is your video tour right here. Hopefully the lighting is good. I didn't feel like setting up my cameras and everything. I'm just going to keep spinning while I talk. So basically over the past month or so since I've moved into this house, I've been slowly putting things where I want it in this room. This is where I record. This is where I edit. This is where I come to kind of escape. All of my stuff that I've collected over the years is in here and I love how it is now. It's still a work in progress to a degree. There's still some things which I'll show in this video that I still plan on doing, but we'll just go ahead and start on the movie wall, if you will. And these are all a bunch of awesome posters that I've collected. You got Spider-Man Homecoming. You got Point Break. I love that Point Break poster. Baby Driver. Of course, you got Goodfellas, Cap, Wonder Woman. And you got Clarence and Alabama. If you don't know what movie this is from, you need to change your priorities in life. True romance, guys. Come on now. Of course, you got Deadpool. I love my Punisher logo over there. Punisher American flag. I got a shirt that's just like it. You got Batman over there. I thought that was the coolest Batman poster ever whenever I saw it. It's actually from Arkham Origins, but just the way that the, it shapes the bat signal with Batman and all the villains around him, I thought that was awesome. That'd be a badass tattoo if you could find somebody that would do that much work. The Lost Boys, probably my favorite horror movie of all time. And now this brings you to what I call the Wall of Walter. Walter White, the man, all hail the king. I used to have in my old apartment this above my couch, like he was watching over me at all times. But uh, I got it set up where it kind of wraps the corner of the room. And then you've got all of my Breaking Bad stuff here. So I have this set, you know, the special edition. Whenever it re-released it, I had to buy it because I missed it the first time with some blue meth on top. Don't turn me in. And I put all the other Blu-rays there as kind of a little bit of a decorative. You got some of my Funko Pops. I still want to get some more. I'm still missing Mike. I'm still missing... I want to get the Gus that's got half his face blown off. There's some other iterations of Walt and Jesse that I want to get. You got the crystal ship behind him. This doesn't fit, but I love it, so it's staying there. This is the actual newspaper from Back to the Future Part 2. USA Today, whenever the date actually came. What date was this? October 22nd, 2015. Whenever that day came, they actually did a print of the actual newspaper from the movie. Like, only so many were printed, and my dad managed to get me one and him one. So that's an awesome piece of little collector stuff right there. You got my Nakatomi Plaza with all my Die Hard movies and my, you know, Good Day to Die Hard coaster. And Deadpool is jumping off the top of it. Of course, you got to have some Freddy in here somewhere. Nightmare on Elm Street. One of the coolest posters, honestly, and one of the best movies. The Thing. Man, the lighting is bad right here. Sorry, guys. The Thing, again, one of the best movies ever. The greatest remake of all time. There's me catching up on some of my YouTube friends. Up on this wall, you've got my signed picture of Ryan Hurst, a.k.a. Opie from Sons of Anarchy. And you got my signed picture of Jax, uh, Charlie Hunnam over there. I figured that was a good thing to kind of fill out that little tiny space there. Brand new poster that my girlfriend Holly just got me because she's amazing is this IT theater poster. Cannot wait to see that damn movie. I'm hoping it's going to be good, otherwise I'm going to look back and be like, man, <laughs> I had so, such high hopes for that movie. Fright Night, gotta love it. That was one that I actually got off of Facebook. It was like a limited release thing. I thought it was awesome. Had to get that. Still some wall space I need to cover up. I have a Planet of the Apes poster and I have a Star Wars poster that's like Darth Vader with a bunch of ships around him kind of making his face that's been on the way for like a month. So whoever the hell sold me those posters, you suck with customer service. But eventually, I'll get that space filled. And now you've got one of my guitars over there. And now you've got my music wall, which does still have some space I want to fill out. But I finished this yesterday. This was the last piece that I wanted to finish because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to arrange it. I'm pretty happy with how I arranged it. You got over here. Whenever House of Golden Bones by uh, the Part One by Stone Sour came out, I bought the limited edition. You got both albums here. Um, there are two albums that are picture albums. They're vinyl LPs that you actually can play the music off of, and one of the pictures from that album signed by the entire band. I've got Disturbed uh, from. Let's see, what date was that? 
May 6, 2016, me and Holly went to see Rob Zombie, Disturbed, and Saint Asonia, and we got the VIP and everything, so I got a signed picture with the entire band. We put our wristbands, the tickets, the VIP cards and everything, so that's pretty cool little memorabilia there. Uh, this is the most recent one, actually. July 29th of this year, it's my dad's birthday, we, uh, I bought him tickets to go see C there in Myrtle Beach, and we got the VIP, you got this awesome poster, which is a really cool, I, I love the design of it, one of my favorite designs of that band from like their album work. I've got the signed set list of the show that we were at. I've got the VIP card and eventually I'm going to put my ticket like angled right here whenever I get it from my dad. He's got it in his pocket, uh, in his uh, pocketbook, his little uh, whatever you want to call it. He knows what I'm talking about. I got the one from the last time that I saw Seether which was, and I don't have a ticket because unfortunately this is one of the times when we didn't get the ticket and we got the little bullshit printout where do you, you know, when they send it over your email and you go that way, I'll never do that again. I like having the ticket. But this was from their last tour, Isolate and Medicate, got all of them to sign that one too. So if you didn't know any better, you'd think that Seether was my favorite band in the world. <laughs> They're definitely up there. But uh, and then you got House of Golden Bones Part 2. Again, I bought the special edition when it came out. You got the picture, vinyl LPs. I love that one, like the Burning Church, which is the actual House of Golden Bones if you've read the story in the album. And I got the, one of the cover arts for the album signed by the entire band again. And these ones are just some vinyl LPs that I wanted to frame and put on my wall. You got Alter Bridge Blackbird, one of my favorite albums of all time. I actually have that bird tattooed on my arm with my grandmother's initials above it. Number of the Beast, baby. Had to have it. We'll save that one for last. Metallica Master of Puppets. I go back and forth all the time whether or not this is my favorite Metallica album or the Black album is. I think I lean more on the Black album because it meant more to me when I was growing up and as learning guitar, but that is by far their best cover art. So, one of their best albums, if not their best one, and the best cover art, had to put it on my wall. If you do not recognize this, you are not a level of cool that I am on. I'm just kidding. Trick or Treat. If you have not seen Trick or Treat, one of the coolest 80s movies, one of the best metal horror movies. Drum Dums knows what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, educate yourself. Buy the movie, rent it, do whatever you gotta do. Very cool movie and an awesome soundtrack. One of my favorite soundtracks of all time. Had to have it, bought the vinyl LP, sounds great. Had to throw it on my wall. Then you got the piece de resistance. You got Dokken, the single for Dream Warriors. You got the cover art with the actual cover of the movie, the Dokken logo, and little stepbrothers here. Pretty recognizable signature here. George Lynch, the guitarist for Dokken, signed, awesome. Had to put that in the middle, that is the center of that wall. Really happy to have that. Uh, funny story with this couch. This is like a $3,000 couch that I got for 40 bucks. <laughs> Whenever I was uh, moving out of my parents' house and I got my first apartment, I was flooding Craigslist trying to find things so that I can have furniture and everything, and a guy was so desperate, he was trying to move. This was the last thing in his house that he did not have room to bring, and he was just trying to get rid of it. When he realized how far I drove to get it, which was like an hour, he gave it to me for 40 bucks. So I love this couch. I'll probably always have it. It's one of the best couches ever, and I love telling that story. This is just a little shelf here. I got a little rotating shelf. I'm not going to rotate it because <laughs> it doesn't work the best for the rotating the way it was advertised. It kind of rotates a little bit tough, so all that shit will fall down if I rotate it. But I've got some Funko Pops arranged here. You got... 16 Candles, of course, Back to the Future. You got um, Travis Bickle. You've got Ricky Bobby and Cal Naughton Jr. You got um, 21 Jump Street. And of course, why has he moved? He's supposed to be right here. And of course, the Boondock Saints. You got my little alien wall here. Ellen Ripley, the Queen, the Xenomorph, a bunch of eggs and face huggers that came out. My Supernatural Cube. There's some Xbox One games and stuff. And on the behind all of these, since it's a rotating, it's all of my PS4 games. But like I said, I'm not going to turn it around. Just picture PS4 games here. That's what it looks like. Now you got one of the coolest parts of the room. And towards the end of this video, you've got basically my little collector shelf here. I bought this shelf anticipating to put like Blu-rays and... Um, CDs and shit on it, but I realized how much collector shit I have and when I started filling it up with all my collector stuff thinking I'd have three shelves left for Blu-rays, it filled it up and I still have more to put up, so didn't quite work out that way. We'll start at the top. You got Nuka-Cola right in front of the Fallout 4 guys and then you got a random Big Daddy from Bioshock. Of course, Nathan Drake in front of Nathan Drake, one of my favorite game series of all time. You got my Resident Evil characters. You got Doom in front of the Doom guy, or whatever you choose to call him, and I forget what the fuck, it's some kind of demon 
Hell Beast Monster. He's got some epic name, I can't remember. You got some of the stuff I've got from like Loot Crate over the years, like the Warning Electric Fence sign from Jurassic Park. Um, you got a lot of these things that are called like Q-Figs. You got Jessica Jones, you got Spider-Man, the black suit, silver suit Spider-Man. Um, you've got Hulk, Harley Quinn, Doctor Strange, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. You got my Mass Effect characters, my Mr. Robot mask. If you watch my season two review, you recognize that. It'll be back whenever season three hits. Um, you got Terminator, you got my Captain America shield, uh, Hellboy Bank, you got some video game characters here, Dishonored, uh, Assassin's Creed, and Gears of War. And now you got the badass shelf, the horror shelf. Oh yeah. This one is my favorite shelf, honestly. You've got, first of all, my really expensive figurine of Ash. I wish the lighting was a little bit better, maybe I should stand out of the way. But that's a really badass figurine by Sideshow Collectibles. Of course you've got Billy, the Crow, Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, Chucky, you've got my little Demogorgon killer here, and I got the hat signed by the kid who plays Dustin in Stranger Things. I wish I remembered his name, but uh, you recognize Dustin. He's the guy with the teeth that are missing in the front. Leatherface, Pennywise, I'm sure I'll get the new Pennywise and stick him over here. You got my Freddy glove, which you'll recognize from my reviews of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. You've got, of course, Hannibal Lecter. You got Pinhead sitting on top of the Lament configuration thing that I have. Ghostface, and this is a pretty badass picture here. It's an artwork of Freddy and Jason that's signed by the artist. I wish I could have gotten it signed by like maybe Robert Anglin and Kane Hodder or somebody that actually played Jason, but really cool picture regardless. But for all of you horror fanatics, I do have a picture of Linda Blair signed by Linda Blair. So that is awesome. Gotta love that shelf. This is all my guitar booklets. Uh, that I used over the years to learn guitar whenever I was young, like 14, 15, bought a shitload of them. Uh, my Sons of Anarchy characters, as well as the case that holds all my Blu-rays. You've got some other stuff here, like Corey Taylor novels, a little secret book here. This one actually opens up, and that's where I keep all my legal documents and stuff. Down here, eventually I want to get something better than this piece of cardboard, but this is basically all my comic book characters. You've got all my Marvel guys. You've got some DC characters here. Uh, including the CW universe. You've got all of the Suicide Squad. I bought it anticipating that movie to be awesome. Still glad that I have it, but wish the movie would have turned out better. And I got a picture, which is crooked as hell right now. I got a picture signed by the woman who played Katana. And now I just knocked over. Whatever, I'll leave it. Uh, that's a other artist-drawn picture of Harley Quinn, for the fans of Harley Quinn. All of my comic books down here. Uh, you got... Aliens, a bunch of Batman stuff, Daredevil, Preacher, The Flash, Green Lantern, Spider-Man, Walking Dead. I got a ton of stuff. Those are all like the loose comics, the single editions. This is another artist-drawn picture of Doctor Strange, which is signed by the artist. That's It's a decent picture. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's a little too psychedelic for me, but still cool to have. You got my Daredevil characters, and then you got my Preacher characters down there. So, a lot of stuff on this shelf. I love, this shelf's kind of like the cornerstone of the room to me. And as far as some other stuff in here, uh, let's see, we got my amp there. I do have another guitar, it's in this closet over here. That's where I keep the lights and the camera when I'm not using it, my green screen, my guitars, and, and that stuff. So you got my actual LP record player down here. It looks like a suitcase, so I pull that out, lift it up, and it actually plays albums. PS4, all that good stuff, the VR. And that's about it, guys. So that is the Evil Lair. The Bad Cave, Cody's House, whatever you want to call it. This is it. So, still got some things. As far as like this wall, there's some, some things up here I'd like to do. Like, I'd like to get some maybe like Metallica decals or Godsmack decals or something to fill out some of these white spaces around to make it more of like a kind of like a whole piece of artwork. But I love how I have all that stuff arranged. That's I'm a huge music guy, so I had to have at least one wall in here dedicated to music. All right, people, that's it. Hopefully this was interesting for you. I don't mean to like show off all my shit, like look at all the stuff I got, but I thought it was really cool. I know if you guys are fans of all the stuff that I am, all the video games and the music and you know the, the movies, like It and everything like that, I know you'll probably appreciate seeing a lot of this. And this room is just, it's awesome. So I'm so glad I have a room to myself now. That's why you've seen a lot more content coming from me lately because before, my green screen and my lights were basically surrounding my dining room table. And anytime I wanted to record, I had to kick everybody out or wait till everybody was asleep or wait till everybody was out of the house. Now, all I gotta do is come in here, shut the door, record, and I can edit in here, everything. So, 
a lot more stuff coming your guys' way. Um, more cool videos like this, hopefully in the future, as I have more cool stuff to show off. I might do a little bit more impromptu stuff like this, just a little bit more laid back once in a while. Uh, I'm debating on maybe using like this wall more for like maybe top fives or the Blu-ray updates that I do, so I don't always use the same background for green screen, but you know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think these are cool backgrounds to use for certain videos? Like if I do an album review or you just want to see me use the green screen all the time, put your thoughts down below, guys. Let me know if you like this setup that I have here or if you think there's something missing. I'll take some suggestions. Put those down in the comment section below. All right, everybody. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video tour of my bad cave, and I will see you all next time. Come and play with us.